Hey guys, Apathy here, and hope you guys are having a great day. You know, I had a pretty good day myself, but in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the most asked question that I get, whether it's YouTube, Twitter, streaming, any of those things. I always get asked the same old, same old damn question. And you guys may ask, Apathy, what question is it? What is this question that's lingering in your mind? Well, first of all, the question has to do with becoming a pro player. Now, this is the generalized and uh, question to it, but you know, I get this question asked so often. And before I used to answer it in a very detailed way, you know, explain every single way how to become a pro player or whatever the case is. But I get this asked so many times to the point where every time I kept getting asked and asked and asked, I just started saying it less and less, less detailed. It went from paragraphs to sentences now I have to say one word, you know? For example, somebody in my stream the other day asked me, Apathy, how do I become known in the community? Or how do I get better? Or these like these type of questions. And I just said, man, just work hard and grind hard. That was literally it. Before, I would say like a whole paragraph. But in today's video, this will be living proof that I no longer have to say anything because I'll be like, hey, check out my YouTube channel. I have a video there. Now, previously, I had made two videos, how to become a pro player and how to become a pro gamer or something like that. And I described very well, you know, all the steps, you know, the, the, the stuff you have to do, you know, the how to be, how to get recognized and all those things I added in that video. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about it one more time. And th those videos were like a year old, so, you know, it's time to refresh it up a little bit. You know, the community has grown. It's changed, sort of, as you can say. So... The first step on how to get recognized, how to become a pro player, how to become, you know, better and get known in this community is obviously you have to work on your individual skill. Now that's something that takes time, takes dedication, make sure you're working hard, make sure you're grinding, you know, make sure you're doing all those things. After you get that skill, you know, you're somewhat decent, you know, you're, you're decently skilled, you're a pub star, you're stumping on noobs, they're calling out your mom, they're like, I f your mom, you know, all those 10 year olds, you know how they say when they get mad. Well, after that's all done, then you're gonna start playing GBs and UMGs. Now there's both, there's two websites, there's GameBattles.com and there's UMGGaming.com. And those websites, you get to play some better competition. You know, you get to, you get to play some tryhards that people put on the sweatbands and all that stuff. And those kids are actually pretty good. Now you will learn a lot from them because they are better than you and they will most likely be better, be better than you, especially if you're a beginner. And you get to practice, uh, the more you practice against better people, the more you lose. Losing is learning, winning is teaching. A lot of you guys know that saying probably. So that's the first thing you wanna do. You wanna start playing UMGs and GBs. Once you start getting good at those, you know, playing for no money, straight up just UMGs, game battle matches, you know, you do not have to pay, they're free. Once you get good at those, the next step you want to go are wagers. Now you can wager, it's basically gambling, you wager for a dollar, wager for two dollars, whatever the case is, you start play, doing that. And then you start wagering and you get better at those and you start practicing your S&D and you start getting more known, you know, because you're wagering with other people. They're like, holy shit, this kid's pretty good. And then after that, you're going to move on to online tournaments. Online tournaments is the big next step. Once you start, you know, get good at very, once you're really good at wagers, you're pretty good at it, and you got a little bit of recognition, you know, some of the people in the community know you, even if they're not the best, but you're playing with the same people, you know, they're pretty good, you guys have some sort of chemistry going on, then you want to play online tournaments. Online tournaments are very good to get recognized, you know, it's something that everyone plays, and I always preach that you got to invest money to become known, to get recognized, you know, that's what I had to do uh, growing up in the community, and that's what you're going to have to do, you invest money, you play online tournaments. Then, once you get good at online tournaments, you know, when you beat pro players, when you play good against them, they're going to recognize you like, holy shit, this kid's good, blah, blah, blah. Then the next step is you want to play local lands and major tournaments. And it's basically a ladder you have to climb. It requires time, effort, investment, all those things. And you got to be willing to put that in. So, guys, please, like, I understand you guys are lost, and I'm telling you here what you have to do. But in the end of the day, it's your effort, it's your time that you have to put in, and that's the only way you're going to see results. That's the only way you're ever going to get recognition. I used to, When I first started, I grind, and you're going to have to do the same thing. You're going to have to grind, you're going to have to get very good and put in the time. Make sure you have a Twitter, too. That always helps, you know, for social... So to socialize. It's been your boy Apti. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.